Hey there, everybody, this is Piper here, and today we're playing Mountain Blade Warband. So, the last couple of videos I've done have been a series called Quest for Empress, and that's basically a series about getting one of the Steam achievements, which is taking over the whole map. You can see here it's quite a large map, a lot of villages and castles. Taking over the whole map as your own faction or as king. And this is going to be some tips and advice, some pointers, things that I've learned in the game that will maybe help you out if you're about to do this uh, Steam achievement. So I'm not going to say this is the best way to do this achievement. It's just things that I've learned and things that might help you out. So the first thing I'll say is being king of your own faction and trying to take over the whole map, it's harder than playing with a faction. So it's harder than Manifest Destiny. Because when you're with a faction, you're playing as a lord and you don't really have to worry about other lords or morale of lords. You don't, That doesn't really concern you. Um, as long as you win your battles as part of the faction, you'll eventually win. Whereas if you're a king and lords don't like you, they'll all leave and defect. So it means that if you are king and you take over some castles and you give a lord those uh, feasts and some of the other, other lords don't like it, they'll actually leave. So it means that if any lords have fiefs and they defect, you'll lose those fiefs. So you'll lose those armies and the fiefs. So it means that you're back at square one. So the way that I've actually done this uh, campaign, I actually started out allocating fiefs and everyone defected and basically put me back to square one. So the first bit of advice I'm going to say is don't allocate fiefs. You want to have all the fiefs for yourself. So you're going to be greedy, you're going to be a greedy king, but it's the only way that you can actually play this and not have everyone defect in my opinion. So don't allocate anyone fiefs, that's number one. Number two, you want to allocate yourself the fiefs, but I would recommend you only allocate yourself the main towns. So that's like uh, Wurcheg, Rivacheg, Sargoth, Tyr, Pravin, Suno, Oxhall, Durham. You want to allocate these fiefs to yourself and make sure you build one of the enterprises in that fief. So you want to take a walk around the village and find the guild master and it's, you want to buy the fief. It's usually the the weavery and tannery. They're the most profitable. Not always. Uh, I think Suno, uh, I think the tannery is the best in Suno. But you want to build the enterprise as well. And that's really important because you don't want to take the castles as a fief. Because, well, that's my opinion. Because you tend to incur more tax for some reason. So the main villages are more profitable than the castles. So you want to take the cast, take the villages, the main villages, and leave everything else. But what makes this campaign difficult is the fact that you have to man those castles and you don't have a revenue stream. So you have to make sure you have at least 50 to 70 troops in each castle. And that's basically to make sure they're properly manned. Uh, the enemy will try and counterattack, and they will try and take your, their cities back. So you want to make sure you have all your castles, all your villages, everything manned with some garrison. Because the enemy will try and counterattack. But you need to pay for all those trips. So you need to make sure you're making enough money in your main cities by building the enterprises. So that was the second tip there. Okay, uh, probably the third tip. I'd probably say before you play the campaign, it is quite a, a long campaign and you really want to make sure you try and uh, maximise your playing time as best as you can. So you don't want to make, make any mistakes. So what I would recommend is start at one side of the map. I actually started with the Nords. I took over at Tyr and Sargoth and I basically worked my way down. Took over some Sar uh, Sarnid factions, Sarnid cities here. Uh, these guys defected, took these guys back, worked my way around, and I'm basically here now. 
So you definitely want to have a plan. Uh, you definitely want to start at one side of the map, work your way down. Uh, don't get too uh, angry if you lose castles. It's, it's going to happen. The enemy will counterattack. You can't win every battle. But the battles you fight in, you want to make sure you win them. Uh, so that's the that's the third most important uh, tip there. Have a have a strategy. Okay, third the fourth tip I'm gonna say get your party members. So here I've got eight party members. Uh, I've got Alain Ala Alayan, let's pronounce it. Ymira, Matheld, Bundok, Katrine, Rolf, Nizar. I've got seven guys here or seven girls as well, and myself. And we've all got like really like super armor weapons. All these guys will just look at Alanyan. If that's that's probably the wrong pronunciation, but it's a weird name. We'll look at the equipment. You see here she has winged great helmet plus fifty five to the head. Uh Siren Elite Armor. I could there is better armor than this I could have given her, but I really do like the 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 plating with the leather. It looks like the almost like the Batman outfit. So that's pretty cool. So I kept that on and she's got thick plate boots. So that's just totally badass. That's she's gonna last a long time in battle. She's got uh, the balanced soldier's cleaver. It's one handed. That's uh, 34 on the attack and a heater shield. That's it's an okay shield, it's not the best. Um, that could be improved upon. So you want to make sure you have at least, I'd say, six or seven uh, hero characters here that are going to help you win battles. Because these guys can get damaged, but they never die. And you can get these guys into super armor, super uh, uh, weapons, and they'll be totally... They'll help you a lot. Uh, make sure you give them a shield. Uh, my experience, I haven't really liked the two-handed weapons. Give them a really good weapon, like a balanced saber... Uh, war cleaver sword and uh, make sure the reach is long as well so they, they can have uh, they can be quite beneficial in the horse and give them a shield I would recommend staying away from the two-handed weapons they're not as beneficial as having a shield and in addition to that you don't want to give any of your hero members feasts because they'll leave your party and they'll do their own thing and you want these guys to be with you because you have to take over everything by yourself. So that's basically the end of the tutorial. I'm trying to think of anything else I could include here. Um, probably just say number five. Be prepared for a long hard grind. To get into this position has taken me a long time. It's probably about 60 to 70 hours of playing just to get here. Uh, maybe it's a bit less than that. But it's a long hard grind. So be prepared for um, a lot of battles. Uh, a lot of chasing after horse archers. So, yeah, it takes a long time, so prepare yourself for maybe a week of playing or two weeks of playing. It is a good game, it's quite enjoyable, but it will take a long time getting these two achievements. So that's the end of this mini tutorial. I hope you guys have learned something about how to go about the Steam achievement. It's a bit different from Manifest Destiny. You have to use your thieves wisely and uh, make sure your lords are on board. Uh, so I hope you guys have learned something. Definitely stay tuned for more videos. I've got a couple more coming out. Uh, hopefully next couple of days. So thanks again for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. This is Piper signing off.